Hi, what's up everybody? Today I will show you a replacement housing shell for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller made by Mirian. I will guide you how to disassemble the gamepad and install the shell. So let's get started. So this is Mirian replacement housing shell for the Pro Controller. It is available in 4 different colors and it is designed in California, made in China. Let's open the box and see what inside it. This one is the ice blue color and it comes with a face plate, a back plate, and a set of 4 color ABXY buttons. This is my Pro Controller, let's start to disassemble it. If you take a look closely, the standard Pro Controller comes with a black transparent faceplate and backplate. I don't know why Nintendo put a transparent plastic design on the Pro Controller, because we don't see the same thing on the console. To tear the gamepad down, start by removing two screws at the end of the grip using a small Phillips screwdriver. Now you can slide out both grip cover easily. Now remove these screws. Then remove the back plate. Then remove these screws. Then remove the battery. Then remove two additional screws under the battery. Then remove the back part of the controller carefully. Beware of the flex ribbon cable that runs between two circuit boards. You can use your finger or tweezer to unlatch the connector by lifting the black part, then release the flex ribbon cable. Now the controller is well separated from each other. While it is partly dismantled, there is something I need to know about the analog stick. Is it the same as the one I found on the Joy-Con, or is it something else? Let's find it out. Remove the analog stick cap by pulling it. After close inspection, I think the analog stick is the same as the Xbox One and the PS4. Fortunately, I have the exact part, and it is not as expensive as the Joy-Con analog stick. The analog stick is pretty standard and you can find it on eBay or AliExpress. The only thing that matters is, is it genuine or not. Let's continue. This is the front side of the controller. We need to remove the circuit board from the face plate. First, you need to remove the flex ribbon cable from the socket. Use a tweezer to unlatch the connector, then pull it. Then you need to remove these screws. Then lift the plastic frame. Remove the slightly hidden screw below the flex ribbon cable. Then you can lift the circuit board. Now remove all the rubber conductor and buttons. Use a tweezer if necessary. Then 
take the replacement housing shell and begin installing the buttons and the rubber conductor. Now take the circuit board and install it to the face plate. Then install the screws to fasten the circuit board. Then install the plastic frame and screw it down. Then carefully, use a tweezer to insert the flex ribbon cable to the socket and latch it. Then use your finger or tweezer to insert the main flex ribbon cable to the socket and lock it down. By the way, it is tricky to install it. Then flip the back part of the controller and join the two pieces together. Inspect all sides and make sure it fits perfectly. Then install the screws on these spots. Then install the battery. Then continue installing the rest of the screws. Now install the back plate. And install the screws. Then slide in both grip covers. And finally, install the remaining two screws. So there you go. You have completed the guide to install a custom replacement shell for the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. In my opinion, Mirian made an excellent product and surely made your controller look cool, but the price is a little bit high. I got it for about 23 US dollar, but I'm delighted with it. You can buy this product on eBay or AliExpress. In the end, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And by the way, I will show you a teaser for the next video, a replacement housing shell for the Nintendo Switch console made by Mirian. So see you guys later and goodbye for now.